This is just a reminder of which properties control the density stratification. Okay, so in, in the so-called warm water regions on Earth, we have uh, temperature controls the density stratification. So you have warm water over colder water. Okay, it's the excess heating near the surface that controls the density stratification in the water column. And there you have features like known as the seasonal thermocline okay, and the permanent thermocline. These are temperature transition zones yeah, between the warmer surface water and the colder bottom water. Okay, and they are influenced by processes. Which one is the wind mixing and the other one is a so-called convection process. And this shows you on the left side in this little sketch the difference between summer and winter winter distribution just in one in one region okay so that's temperature stratification controls vertical density structure and the tropics and subtropics the reason of this is an excess of atmospheric heating so now in polar regions totally different and in polar regions is the salinity um, structure that determines the the density structure okay it is the low salinity at the surface okay, controls the density and which actually allows for the surface water to be much colder than the waters underneath. It's the salinity effect that enables the existence of cold water near the surface and actually the existence of sea ice in polar regions. Okay, this comes from all from the from the freshwater influence or you could say the continental runoff excess so this is why the arctic ocean can form sea ice sea ice we call the ice that sits sits on the on the on, uh, on the surface of of the open ocean 